so the timer will start when I start moving. I'll give a countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right, so unfortunately, as somebody in chat is pointing out, we do need olives in this run, and that means we need to do a little bit of farming. However, um, with the route that I take, I only need 130 olives. So we'll get 45 here. It'll take a couple minutes, but it's not terrible. Unless I'm actually going for world record attempts. I don't have Skype going on this. Do I need to reset? I'm not broadcasting any, uh... I don't... Oh. Are we going, like... Okay, Restreamer is... Does not have the, uh... Skype muted, I see. You know what, I'm just gonna keep going. Um, timer should be pretty accurate now, now that I've, uh... Unless I get... told... So, the trick here for farming olives is to get these slimes to clump up on each other, and now we have six shots at olives every time we make a pass here. And um, we have a one-fourth chance of an olive dropping, so we are hoping, hoping for one and a half olives per pass, so every two passes we should get at least two olives. Um, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes it happens faster. This is actually pretty decent olive luck from what I can tell. Um, we'll, like I said before, we'll need a total of 130 olives. So I split this up into three different segments of grinding, which each take a few minutes, but aren't incredibly painful for a just casual speedrun. Um, I'll be taking passwords very frequently to make sure I don't lose out on any olives. There we go. Alright, so now we're actually going to um, go talk to Zeus.
So the olive farming is actually what kind of makes the speedrun a little bit annoying because it can cost anywhere from... It can put me anywhere from like a minute and a half ahead to a minute and a half behind. And that variance is very annoying. It's all at the beginning of the run, so once I get a run going, it's all on me to execute. Although there is a lot of bird and bat and monkey luck later on. For the most part, uh, the strategy is to jump over as many enemies as we can. These bats are somewhat random, but you can manipulate them in some certain situations. If you can jump well before you uh, run into them, then they're not a problem. Let's see if I can get this. Nope, but that's okay because our invulnerability lets us pass through. We'll stop by the salamander cave here. game does indeed take advantage of public domain music. Alright, so we're going to do one more farming session here, and then we're going to get a fair amount of action before we have to do one last final small farming session. So we'll see how my olive luck pans out this time. Oh my god, come on. Jump for me. Jump slimes, jump! when I want you to, please. Come on. There we go. I'll let this guy... Oh, for... <laughs> Never jump when you want them to. Alright, so I'm gonna lead them over to the left so that they clump up here. Uh, almost. Most of this run is action, but we do have to sit through a little bit of farming, but that'll be over soon. Ah, wow. Somehow I didn't hit these on the way down. I thought I timed that just right. As soon as I get into the pattern, we're good. Most of them. There we go. Okay, maybe not. The first thing that we need to buy is worth 60 olives. The next thing we need to buy is worth 70, so... I have my farming split up into this because you can only farm up to about 50 olives effectively before the drop rates get cut in half. So I try and farm like a maximum of 45. The way it works is that after a total of 100 drops, that 
is a combined count of olives and bay leaves, your drop luck gets cut in half from 1 fourth to 1 eighth for either item. And then after 75 of a specific drop, that drop gets cut off. So, once I get 90 olives, I'll take off from here. And uh, we'll go defeat the Hydra. And kill the Cyclops and get our orb. So four more olives and then we're good to go. Perfect. So here we get a very fun mechanic. I'm grabbing a password here in case I die. I can hit retry and retain all my olives instead of losing half of them. So now we have Hermes Sandals, which allows us to jump higher, and it also allows us to flip to the ceiling, if there is one. I'll be taking advantage of this quite often. I let go of the directional pad when I go through that door because it seems to make the uh, little ostrich guy not spawn. Alright, so normally you'd need the staff to burn down this bush. Oops, wow. Incorrect damage boost. So I guess that's two less health that I have to work with, but as long as the Hydra doesn't totally fuck me over, I should be fine. <laughs> He's been known to do that, though. Super pro strats here. And we're good. We have no real reason not to use the uh, sword here. That guy usually drops an olive, so I stalled up there just in case. Also I'm not concerned about my health because I'll be picking up a free Ambrosia sometime soon. By the way, this run only grabs two... Uh, bits of Ambrosia. And they're both free, so I don't have to pay for them with olives. Oops. Ah, bad luck there. That's okay, though. I mostly got that, did that to get the bat out of the way, which I just did. Oops. Alright, there we go. Ah, dang. I was already too set on moving on. Bad luck with the bird spawn. Okay, you know what? I'm going to... Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to actually get to Poseidon, but then commit suicide 
after I grab a password so I can get a health refill. Because this amount of health is not going to serve me very well. Grab the ocarina. And we'll take a quick death here. Hmm, probably faster to go up and take a hit from the bird. Boink! Alright, we got our health bar back. Depression strats equals suicide, yeah. Alright, so we need the ocarina first. Ah, uh, monkey? See, this would not have worked if I had tried to go last time. Uh, we'll see how this works out. Yeah, I need the ocarina. Next thing I need is the harp. Play it right here to distract the harpy. Eh, there's a faster kill for her, but I didn't quite get it. Alright. Yay, I didn't fall in the pit, that's nice. Alright, nice. Alright, so let's make sure we don't fall in the pit. Okay, I'm not where I want to be exactly- there we go. It's not hard to navigate there, but without being able to see the ground at all, it can be a little bit of a pain. Normally you're supposed to have the staff and, uh, oops, quite alright. You're supposed to be able to actually light up the room and see, but obviously if I skip the staff, I can't see. Alright, so here's our last farming session. So we're just going to get 40 more olives and then we're done with farming, I promise. <laughs> the nice thing about this farming session is that we can do this and then hop up to the ceiling. good setup, and we're getting okay drops. Oh nice, three, that's... Wow, check it out guys. We had good all of luck and then it disappeared. And then it came back. This is the fickle nature of this game. Starting to get pretty bad luck here. This is why I kind of took a huge break from running this game. <laughs> I'd have a really good run going at the start, and then suddenly I'd get to here, 
and my olive luck would just die. And there's just absolutely nothing you can do about it. Oh my god, really? I just need seven more olives, that's it. Come on. But like I said, this is the last farming session we have to do, so... Alright, three more. Only three more. Oh my god, so many bay leaves. Almost there. Oh my god! So close! Come on, here we go. So now we use our orb to unlock this secret door. Here's our lady friend, Best Of. Our name is the NES. We make a really good couple. To the point where I'd go to hell and back to save her. So this is something I would normally not do in a speedrun, but given the difficulty of the next area, I'm going to stop by here and grab the shield, which is actually useless, so that I can actually grab a password as well. The shield won't do much for me because you need to be standing in such a specific spot for it to work in relation to the projectile. It also doesn't want to work when you're moving half the time. But having that password is very um, necessary if I want to feel remotely safe. For some reason the ocarina wakes up the statue. See if I can get a good fight here. Very good fight. Alright, so here is um, a very difficult section of the game. Oh nice, the bird dropped something. That means that as long as I don't grab its drop, then it will not respawn, which makes this screen a little easier. Ooh, <laughs> lucky me. Alright, let's see. Alright, good bird spawns. Wait here, and then we lead the monkey around. Nice. So as long as nothing goes terribly wrong... There we go. I no longer need any passwords. Actually, I think I'll grab this one, because if I... Uh, if I manage to fall off of a, a pit somewhere... Wait, no, 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 no. I don't... I don't have the sword yet. Okay, there we go. For some reason, they aren't good at giving you the password if you haven't uh, taken their item yet. Alright. So we're gonna make a quick trip over... Oh god. 
Oh. <laughs> Scary jumps. Whew. Alright, so this Ambrosia, I'm thinking of cutting it from any future world record runs. Because it costs about 20 seconds to get. But it does provide an insane amount of safety. Ugh. Bad luck with that bird spawn and it being so slow, but it did drop us an olive, so don't have to worry about it getting in the way. Whew. For some reason, that staircase always catches me. Oh, okay. That's one way to get past this guy. Not exactly what I was expecting, but it works. Alright, so the whole reason we're up here is to grab the second love fragment here. Oh, wait, I'm best of. She's the Ness. Oops. Olives are purely for currency. They serve no other purpose. If you want all the items in the game, you need about 340 olives. I've kind of, <laughs> just for shits and giggles, run 100%, and my current best time on that is a little bit over an hour. But... Uh, you know, that's a lot of farming, so I don't really feel like doing that very often. Uh, let's see, I need the ocarina. There's these axe dudes here, and they really want to show us their axe. You can tell because they're shoving it in our face rather than trying to swing it at us. If they really wanted to hurt us, they would swing it. Alright, so half the reason I didn't want commentary with me is because I need to focus for this fight. And this fight requires a bit of listening. So, if I was at a marathon, I would be asking for some serious time. There we go. Timing that is a little bit of a challenge, just because you need to kind of make sure that your sword is out the very instant he uh, is able to take a hit. So here's our last love fragment. And you know what? I'm not even going to bother going back to the fountain. I am fine on health. I could go for it for safety, but there's a health refill later on that I can go to instead. Man, check out my axe. It's really cool. My mom gave it to me. I can even walk on water, see? No thanks, buddy. No thanks. Left, left, right, left is the pathway through Tartarus. 
And then we get to fight a two-headed Cerberus. Also, seem to have some issues here with... Alright. Whoa! Okay. I guess we're fighting him on the left. Except I don't know how to fight him on the left. I always fight him on the right! <laughs> Alright, that's okay. We'll just continue right here, and it won't be any trouble whatsoever. That's the nice thing about this game later on. It gets really generous with the continue points. Alright. Eh. Alright. He had a chance to regenerate his health, which is why I made an extra jump there. Uh, well, I don't need that health anymore. So one thing that I didn't... Ooh! <laughs> I almost didn't, uh, jump there. Okay. Alright, these two screens here are probably a couple of the hardest screens, just because of the sheer number of things that can go wrong. Thankfully, the screen I just entered is a continue point. Uh, the thing that I was mentioning before was that you can shoot lightning with the Divine Sword, but it costs half a bar of health. Alright, so these guys you want to deal with, because otherwise they harass you a lot. That's not fun. And then we jump early to make the bats fly high. Always a good idea where possible, just because bats otherwise are random. And we're almost there, so... Hang in tight, the NES. We'll turn you back from stone... shortly. Alright, so this part is pure execution. If something goes wrong, then it's my fault. Ah, damn. Like that. That's okay, though. We have the health bar of legends. Thanks to that extra ambrosia we picked up in Thea. So we can deal with having that extra hit there. Extra two hits, even. Oops. In fact, we can even deal with that hit, because we have so much health. There's one intentional hit that I'll be taking in a little bit. Perfect. Alright, so now we just need to deliver 28 hits to the invisible final boss. Okay. Damn it, come on. There we go. And... time. So, yeah, with that final boss there, what he does is he kind of walks up to you and starts slashing at your face. So, by s crouching, you can stop him from actually hitting you. Um... And it actually makes him jump back, 
And so what you do is you shoot lightning while crouching to keep him back. 3404, not 3401-ish, somewhere around that area. Ah, nice. 